Hello, I'm not sure if I should say I'm back or hello for like the first time. I guess it's not totally the first time because I vlogged a couple years ago. I vlogged for three weeks and that was it. That was done. That was the end of that era. But I have felt my heart stirring for a bit now that I really want to vlog again and I really want to stick with it and maybe not stick to a schedule because I think that I'm not prepared for that like commitment but I really want to introduce it back into my life and I just like want to, to document like where we're at and I'm just really wanting to like instill this habit into our life so <laughs> welcome back I guess so I kind of wanted to say where I've been and what what Jensen and I have been up to and what's been going on and all of that. Um, I don't even remember when I vlogged. I think it was, I want to say 2019. I think it was 2019. Yes, it was because we had just gotten our um, Lumix GH5 and... I was messing around with filming and everything and I had big goals of filming <laughs> for us and all of that and then I just I didn't ever like stick with it and then like our wedding season picked up that was like our first full wedding season and that just like totally took over and I didn't stick with vlogging and that's okay um, but now it is 2021 nearing the end of 2021 it's November and I feel like we're over the like hump of wow we just filmed a lot of weddings and now I feel like we can kind of slow down and refresh and refill and um, edit of course. I have a lot left to edit but I still feel like overall like this time, this time period right now is just a like refreshing time period. Weddings have been amazing. I went full time with our business in May. I finished out my last season of teaching in May. That was my third year teaching and I loved it. But this past, like my last year of teaching, I just felt in my heart um, that I wanted to take one more with our business. And I just wanted that to be my main focus. I didn't want to have to split my attention and share that. Um, so I made the decision almost a year ago to that that would be my last season. And I finished up my school year in May. And then we went to Disney for a week, and that was amazing because it's pretty much like a week after our, my school year finished, so I just felt like it was this big celebration. I had announced it on Instagram and to Facebook that I was full-time in our business, and then that day that I had announced it was um, when we went to, to Florida, and we did all four parks, and that was just so good. And then we came back, and June was filled with weddings. We had five weddings in, in June, which we've never done that many in a month before. Uh, we normally like to do like three or four. Um, so summer was strong. Summer was honestly a little bit busier than our fall was. This fall has been so good and um, it's been really interesting like entering the fall season and not teaching um, and just focusing in our, on our business. And I'm so grateful for that. Like I'm so Grateful for the time that I taught, but honestly, like, I, I cannot imagine right now, like, having what is on my plate and then adding that on. Um, I just can tell, like, I, I would be just so stressed and I just wouldn't be enjoying it all. So I'm really happy that I, like, put that aside and, um, and I'm just able to focus on, on what I've been doing. But I guess going back to talking about, like, this season is my first season where I'm not teaching and I feel like I've had to totally just figure out like what a good routine is for me. I feel like summer is so different than fall and this was my first fall then where I wasn't leaving every day to teach and then come back like I was here and I just needed to figure out a good routine and a good rhythm but my routine now has just worked out so well. I feel like this past week I have just felt so productive and so filled with energy. I have gotten a lot accomplished around the house um, I've gotten a lot accomplished with editing and I've gotten a lot accomplished just personally and just like things that I personally want to do and that's just been been really really good. I guess the other big thing that's approaching in our life is that we have a three-week trip planned in May to go out west 
and we have more about all of this like on our JNK Film Co. YouTube channel. I am really excited for that. I guess the really short summary in that is that um, we rent we are going to be renting a camper van in Arizona. So we're going to fly from Pennsylvania to Arizona and pick up the camper van and then we're going to just make a big loop out west for three weeks come back to the spot in Arizona, drop off the van, and fly back to PA. And um, I am so excited, and I just, like, I can't wait. I'm so pumped about that trip. Um, so I feel like right now is just entering the season of planning for that trip. We have the, like, big things checked off of, like, we set a date, we have the camper van reserved, all of that, and now it's entering into the, like, what is our route, what places are we wanting to go to, what places, um, like where do we want to stop, um, how long do we want to be at each park, what parks do we want to see and all of that. We went to Colorado for the weekend in September. Um, I'm currently editing our, our video about that, which that'll be on our film page. But we went with our neighbors and Thursday night we flew to Colorado and then Friday we did Garden of the Gods and we saw Switchfoot and Need to Breathe perform at Red Rocks Amphitheater Friday night. That was like our main reason for going. And then stayed overnight again and did uh, Rocky Mountain National Park the next day. Stayed overnight and left early morning Sunday back to PA. So it was a busy weekend. It was like a packed weekend, but it was so good. And honestly, like going there for three days just got me even more in the mood to go out west. <laughs> I like cannot wait for our trip. That was Jensen's first time like just seeing like the mountains out there and just like I feel like he finally understood like when people say the mountains are different out there like it's different out there like he finally like understood that and was like okay I know I know what you mean by that. My heart has just been like so so overwhelmingly aching to travel and Going to Colorado was so good, but it got me just, honestly, it was that, like, reassurance of, like, yes, I want to travel more. I want to go more places with Jensen, and I want to just experience that. I feel like it also just gives me an opportunity to craft this skill of, like, videography, which is why I'm so excited, too, to, like, really create these videos. I want to do, like, part vlog, part, like, storytelling with just these, like, really neat visual clips like I just I want a combo of that and I feel like that's what our Colorado video is accomplishing which I'm excited to post on our on our on our film page and I really really want to to accomplish that when we actually go out for three weeks and we see a whole bunch more but that has been that all right, I'm gonna make my lunch. I've been eating like tuna and cheese and ch not chips, crackers. Um, and honestly, I feel like today's is a little sad because that's all I have. But I have been also adding like tomatoes and fruit, but I'm out of those items. So today we're just gonna be doing tuna salad and uh, cheese and crackers, so. I, it's been a while since I shopped, and um, I've shopped a lot this past week. <laughs> Not a lot, a lot, but I've just been like slowly picking up some outfits for out west because, you know, I want outfits for, for out west, and I feel like the temperature is going to be crazy out there like it's gonna vary from like zero degrees to 110 degrees and um yeah so I'm planning on doing a lot of layers a lot of like neutral stuff that I can just mix and match that just goes well together and um I've gotten some sets from Aerie um we went to uh Dick's Sporting Goods maybe like a month ago and I got some like athletic wear there all of that but I'm thinking I'm doing a haul at some point of like everything that I have gotten just like over this time period of like what I'm planning on taking out west. So if you want that, let me know. I love a good haul. Like, I just love it. Alright, my outfit that I've been rocking so far today 
Jeans are from Carly Jean Los Angeles. That is basically where I buy the majority of my clothes. Jeans, that is where I buy my clothes. So these are like a little high-waisted, like they go to my, my belly button. And I really like them, especially for like crop sweatshirts like this. I just feel like it's like the perfect, perfect fit. Sweatshirt, walk in love, another portion where I buy my clothes. Basically, it's it's three spots. It's Carly Jean Los Angeles, walk in love, and airy. <laughs> so basically it, and then like secondhand. Um, but this one, this sweatshirt says um, on earth as it is in heaven. It's got a cool like graphic there, but really like it. That's my outfit right now. But I'm going to be changing and getting ready because Jensen and I are going to go to Hershey Park tonight and I need to, to look at the weather and see like what what the weather is going to be and like how bundled I need to get. Things are better when you're with me. I feel right when you're around. to figure out what I'm wearing tonight. So, uh, what is the temperature for this evening? This evening, you can look for partly cloudy skies with temperatures around 41 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so it's gonna be in the 40s. <laughs> All right, this is the outfit I'm going with and I'm gonna hope that I'm warm enough. So this is a long sleeve shirt from Target, the white one, um, Wild Fable line. I actually got it at Fashion Sense, Cardigan, also Target, but also found at Fashion Sense. I really like this. I like it a lot. Um, and then jeans, same ones that I had on from before, Carly Jean Los Angeles, shoes, Target. They're like the really ultra basic shoes. We are about to go to Hershey Park. Jensen is like 10 minutes away and he's going to pick me up. Um, we're taking the drone. We just got this new drone in. It was time for an upgrade from what we were currently using. And yeah, I'm really excited about it. He's done a couple test runs and he honestly would like to just, I think he wants to just drive towards Hershey and then pull over a couple spots and just mess around with it. But it's good. I need to put my phone case back on my phone. It's been free today, and I, I'm going to drop it in Hershey Park, honestly. Um, I'm going to take the, the camera, the vlog camera, like, a little bit, probably on the drive, but I'm not going to take it into the park, because it's probably going to be dark by the time we get there, and I don't want to be limited on rides because of the camera, so, but if anything, I have my phone. Hello. Hello. How's it going? You ready for date night? Oh, yeah. And it goes like, ooh, la, la. I like the way you move. I like the things you do. I like it when I'm with you. tripod here featuring the great alone so you know I hope that you appreciate it <laughs> we got back from Richard Park a little bit ago we didn't spend too much time there um, but it was so nice to just walk around and enjoy the Christmas lights that they have up so far and um, we rode laugh track <laughs> And we rode um, Candelodium, and we ate 
some dinner at Milton's on the way out. So it was nice. I think we're definitely going to keep going some like more Friday nights here in like November and December. And um, yeah, but that was a nice first little day. Okay, I am going to end my night by reading The Great Alone. I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. And I will definitely be doing this more often because I thoroughly enjoyed it today. So please make sure you subscribe and like this video. Um, and if anything that I said today you enjoyed and you would like to see more of, please let me know. Um, and if you want to follow along with our wedding films and our travel videos, then check out JNK Film Co. Um, that YouTube channel. So. Thank you so much. I'm really excited to kind of dive in a little bit more on this channel. Until next time.